Hey guys, it's Stacy from D14. I want to make another quick video for you guys to address some of the events that have been happening at the field recently. Um, we've had some really good posts about it in our online community as well as in Airsoft Texas. Um, thank you, Gary Frazier, for posting it for us. Um, but there have been a few thefts at the field recently occurring while the players were on the field for a game. And we've had things from guns to backpacks to, um, and a wallet stolen as well. So we want to cover a few tips for you guys on how to self-secure your items and some things to do to make it a little bit harder for these horrible people to steal your things. Um, first and foremost, guys, this is such a big community. We have an amazing community. And like, like Gary Frazier pointed out, like this just doesn't happen around here. Um, but with all of the new growth and exposure that Airsoft is getting, we can expect a few bad apples every once in a while to come in and ruin it for everybody. So as much as we have tried to make this a warm and welcoming community for everybody, bad people are going to show up and do bad things. So uh, we need to try to prevent that as much as possible. And ways you can work on that is by being ambassadors to new players at the field. If you see somebody that you haven't seen out there before, um, or that just kind of happens to be hanging out solo, um, or playing by themselves, you know, always the last to rally, first off the field, kind of always by themselves, especially on other people's items, take notice, um, talk to them, say, hey, what's up, you know, and bring them into your circle, because people who are more connected with players in the community are less likely to do stuff like this. Um, secondly, guys, just kind of keep, keep your eyes open. Um, even if you don't, you know, invite those people to come join you, um, talk to them, and uh, if they're just not giving off the right vibe, then come tell me or come tell one of my admins. You know, we don't want anybody suspicious like lurking through our, our parking lot, um, especially with what's been going on recently. So, um, but with this being a public facility, we do have new people that come all the time and we need to teach them that this is how we expect them to behave. We want them to be invited into our community and we want to be able to have a safe space to leave all of our items. With that being said, um, two quick things that you can do um, yourself. Uh, first of all, please mark your items. Put some type of identifying mark on your item. And I'm not just talking about your guns. Like mark your Thunder Bee cores, mark your mags, mark your mag loaders. Um, anything that you can think of that you're going to bring with you, put your name or some kind of symbol. Um, I have a player that, that goes and gets custom stickers made and then he puts his, that sticker on everything. So it, it's always his. Um, I have people that write their phone numbers or that have a little symbol that they know that's theirs. Um, just find something that is unique to you and put it on your items. So that way, if they're ever stolen, they're easily identified. Um, or when they come into Lost and Found, they're easily identified. Um, guys, if, if you're not aware, we have a huge Lost and Found. Um, items get turned in every week after every game. And I would say a good like 75% of them go unclaimed. So. If you have lost something, um, most recently since the swap meet, um, come check it out at the cabin and give us a description, see if maybe we can we can find it for you. Um, also, if you find something on the field that you know may have been abandoned or, or, or lost, um, pick it up and bring it to the cabin and we'll throw it in to our lost and found and so other people can come up and look for it and see if any of their items have been found. Um, example of Saturday, I was playing and I lost my phone. It just fell out of my back pocket. Rookie mistake, I know. And we searched for about 20 minutes, couldn't find it. And sure enough, I came back to the cabin and somebody had turned it in for me. So thank you to whoever that was. Um, but that's the kind of community that we need. If you find something on the field and you don't turn it in, guys, that's stealing. And you're just as guilty as these other people who have been ripping off people's stuff at their tables. Um, so try to keep your lost and found karma positive. Find stuff, turn it in and then hopefully your stuff will be there when you happen to lose something next time. Um, so, but it makes it easier if your items are marked. Secondly, um, self-secure your items, guys. Now, if you have a car, this is a no-brainer. What you choose to do with your equipment is, that's on you, okay? So, um, if we have people who, you know, they play out of, out of the back of their cars. They just pop their trunks open or they lower their tailgates down and all their stuff is back there and it's fine. Um, we have people that come in and set up tables near their cars or set up tents. Um, and then you have people that are that don't have any car and they're, they're just there at our awnings and tables. No matter where you park and where you set up your little camp on Saturday, make sure that your items are secured. Now, if you have a car, obviously it's super easy. Close your trunk, put it inside, lock your cab, um, 
do what you can do to make sure that nobody has the ability to take your things from you. Um, and then secondly, if you don't have, have a car, invest in one of those those little, you know, hard, like rigid plastic foot lockers. Um, I ran to Walmart today just to see kind of what their options were, and I found one for me for $35. It's not the best, but it wasn't the worst by any means. But you could hit up any Home Depot, Lowe's, um, Cabela's, Bass Pro, Tractor Supply, those kind of places, and they're all going to have these hard plastic, um, I think R Rubbermaid makes an awesome one, um, and they're these enclosures that you can lock. And you can lock it with, with a key lock or a combination lock. Some have locks built in. Um, I opted for one that I can put my own padlock on and I got a really trusted like um, heavy duty master lock padlock on it just in case. Um, if you are going to go the, the locked route, um, make sure that you bring two keys, one that you can keep on yourself. I can hold one for you in the registration cabin um, or you're welcome to you know give it to like a trusted friend or leave it with a parent for when, when they pick you up. And then also consider investing in um, a bicycle lock or a bicycle chain as well, because you can actually um, tether that foot locker to like one of the poles in the carports or one of the poles um, on the picnic tables. So find a way to secure your items, because as much as we want to think that it's never going to happen to us, it may. And it's very, very frustrating on our end to have this happen at our facility. Um, we do absolutely plan on increasing our admin and employee presence um, in the parking lot in between games and also during games as well. Um, we'll walk around, we, we will talk to people, we will make sure that people know that, that, that we are watching them um, and hopefully they feel less secure about taking other people's items. Um, so once again, guys, just make sure that you self-secure your stuff, put some kind of identifying marker on it so we know that it's yours and that way if if it does get stolen, it's very easy to identify that it is yours. Um, and then always be ambassadors and help help grow the community, help bring these new players into our circles, and um, that'll just make it less likely for them to rip us off later. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out to me on um, Facebook or um, on our D14 business line, and we'll see you at the field next Saturday.